Hey everybody, Spaz here. Thank you for tuning in. We went on another Whirlwind CD and comic shopping trip today. Headed up to Amoeba in Berkeley and then on the way back to Sacramento we hightailed it over to Flying Color Comics in Concord to uh, be there while they celebrated their 30th anniversary uh, and that was great. So happy anniversary Joe and uh, the gang. Uh, first I'm going to start off with what I bought at, um, at Flying Color Comics and then I'm going to go into the music. So just uh, sit tight here because I love to share this stuff too. Uh, New Gods. This is a uh, trade paperback that uh, compiles the New Gods comics by Jack Kirby, a comic book legend. Uh, Jack Kirby is the man who um, created Avengers, Fantastic Four, created almost... I mean, Steve Ditko did Amazing Spider-Man, but pretty much... Uh, and Steve Ditko did Doctor Strange too, But pretty much um, Jack Kirby created almost every character you can possibly imagine. Such a such an incredibly talented man. Uh, he went from Marvel to DC, and he created the New Gods line, uh, the Demon as well, and lots of fun stuff there. Um, let me see what else I bought there. Uh, these are two actually new releases. I believe they came out last week, the week before, um, and they're basically uh, new horror themed uh, titles. Uh, this is issue one of both of those. And um, my local shops uh, sold out of them, so, so I was very happy that I found those at um, Flying Color. I also went through there just, to, I could have spent hours and hundreds of dollars just in their their budget bin, their $2 budget bin. Two things I picked up out of the budget bin were two, two Space War titles. And these are old, old, old comics. No, I never heard of it either, but I love the old classic things. I mean, look. These things were 10 cents when they came out, so they're pretty old. Um, but it's also uh, very interesting. I love the whole idea of, you know, this is like years before um, we really knew uh, a whole lot. So this is when when space was still a mystery and kind of a little scary and stuff. So I love I love um, going, sort of going back in time and, and uh, seeing what people thought everything was going to be like. I mean, I guess... In a sense, this could be um, the outline for the Space Force. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, also, I have... Uh, I love Christmas. Everyone knows I love Christmas. So I buy Christmas music, and I also buy Christmas comics. This is a compilation of old classic Christmas comics from many years ago. And they compiled them all into this great little... Um, trade paperback with lots of Christmas stories so that is going to be something that I'm going to be spending time with but that's all I got comic wise uh, let me get into the CDs here real fast and a uh, whole lot of fun stuff here first off uh, I bought this this is actually something I already have but I bought it because I don't see it out in the wild that much uh, King Bees uh, King Bees 1 and 2 both albums on one CD uh, you know, I usually pick these up because, you know, my friends, you know, Facebook friends or real friends. Well, not that Facebook friends aren't real friends, but I mean, you know what I mean. Um, I pick them up because I know that people out, you know, maybe somebody in Ohio or North Dakota might be looking for that. And uh, if I stumble across it out here in California, then I'm going to grab it and then they can just pay me back. Shipping, too. Uh, I picked up uh, Genesis Duke. This is the... Uh, uh, remix remaster with a CD and DVD. I picked up It's Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. First time on CD that just came out yesterday. So I'm very happy to finally have that. I picked up the three CD box set Shoes, Black Vinyl Shoes. This contains the full album as well as bonus tracks and then two CDs that feature their two previous albums. Uh, so that's a nice little package there. Here's another thing that I bought. I don't see it a lot in the wild. I figured I would go ahead and get it, and um, just in case any of my friends want it. And if not, you know, it sits around my place for a little while, and then somebody's going to come along that's going to want it. Um, the Members. This is the third album, and this is the album with Working Girl. Uh, you can't get that anymore. Uh, so it was nice to stumble across that. I found the two CD version. Of this Costello, uh, and that's again out of print, but that's one that I've been missing, so I grabbed that. Oh, speaking of things that I already have, 
Found in the Wild, blah, blah, blah. Hazy Fantasy, that's classic 80s new wave. I found that and figured that some of my friends might need it because it's not that easy to find. And I did, did that again with the Greys. I do already have that. That is classic power pop. That's Jason Faulkner and John Bryan. That is, a, everybody needs this in their collection. If you like jellyfish, if you like, you know, very well-produced, emotional, uh, great melodic pop, uh, that's that's definitely about it. The group is The Greys, uh, featuring John Bryan and Jason Faulkner. That's uh, great harmonies and hooks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Guadalcanal Diary, two albums on one CD. Uh, this isn't that common out there. I know that the first album, I believe, exists with lots of bonus tracks. But uh, that's kind of hard to find, but I wanted to get it, and, and it was relatively cheap. It was six bucks uh, to get these two albums on one CD. So I have that, and I'm happy. Here is an album from somebody from Hot Chip. I enjoy Hot Chip, even though Hot Chip is sort of uh, the Corgis meets Kraftwerk. Uh, they have the melodic pop sense and even the voice of the Corgis, uh, in a sense, um, and, but then it's like the really experimental electronic as well. So, uh, check out hot chip and then, um, uh, uh, you know, you'll know where this guy's coming from. Of course, it's very difficult because his albums are, are very different. Um, sometimes they're along the lines of hot chip. I have not listened to this yet. It could be a total disappointment, but I don't think so. At least I hope not. Uh, everybody loves this classic reissue by the quick. Uh, this is the quick album. And uh, if you like Sparks, early Sparks, this is going to uh, tickle your fancy. There's a bunch of bonus tracks as well that just got reissued. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Uh, I found the uh, Bow Wow Wow box set. And that has all their classic recordings. Even I want candy and all that stuff. And it's a nice box set on uh, Cherry Red. Uh, let me see here. I've been collecting... The two CD deluxe uh, versions of the uh, of the Zeppelin album. So I grabbed Presence. That's the two CD version. Basically, what they are is uh, disc one is a remastered version of the album. Disc two is like alternate versions or early mixes or rough monitor mixes and stuff. Presence and the same with Houses of the Holy. And that's in, now in my possession. Speaking of box sets, I got the members. And uh, the Virgin Years, so it has their stuff. Let me see right there. Lots of great material. Uh, finally, in regular CD, I have Kissing the Pink. Naked. Kissing the Pink. Naked. And that uh, has a bunch of bonus tracks. You can see it right there. This is the cherry red version. Um, so I thought that I had that, and then after I moved and I put everything up on the shelf it wasn't there so i was very very pleased to be able to find that um now let's go for the big let's go for the big ticket items <laughs> the big ticket items um i don't always go for the big ticket items uh but it was a special day so uh first off the three wire remasters wire are commonly known as a punk band, but they essentially laid the foundation for post-punk. Post-punk did not exist until Wire came along, in my opinion. Um, these are classic punk. It's not power pop. If you haven't heard Wire, don't think, oh, i got to rush out and see what they sound like, because it's not power pop. They are a great band. If you're a fan of British punk, if you're a fan of early British post-punk, then Wire classic. You might know later Wire stuff when they were more electronic. But this is when they were uh, uh, guitar heavy and uh, very experimental. Two last items. I picked up the deluxe editions of the first Ramones album and Rocket to Russia. Both of these have three CDs and a vinyl LP. Uh, you'll see this. That's there. Basically, it has the remastered versions of the albums. Uh, along with uh, alternate mixes and live and demos and and um, maybe like a new mix. I think the first album might have a mono mix of the album. So, but anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share some more fun stuff with you. And um, you know, why don't you make videos of your recent scores and 
and uh, post them on YouTube or Facebook uh, for all of us to enjoy. Anyway, that's it. Thank you, and we'll see you later.